how are we all doing? Welcome back to another episode of Show In Stock that's going on the shop. Excuse a mess, because literally just got boxes everywhere at the minute. Always do when I just do this little setup just to show you guys as well. But also I can get, you know, I've taken pictures of everything ready for listing this evening. So it's going to be a long night of me. So all of this is for sale. Get it when you can. That's exactly what I'm saying, because stuff is going quick on the eBay store. So thank you very much. That's enough for that. Let's take you on a little bit around of what I've pulled up for this week's selection. Absolutely gorgeous Chipperfields truck. Lovely condition, working boom hook. Original hook and string is still on there. All these as well, everything battery operated works and works well. Right through to the rarest thing, the robot for there. But let's get back to that in a minute. A lot of Marks toys, a lot of Japanese stuff and some cool stuff as well. Anything space related is always pretty hot, you know, it always sells really, really well. But it also, it's just so damn cool to look at as well. If you know what I'm saying. This is gorgeous. Original box, missing end flaps. The car is there. It's got a lovely look about it. I love the little sun visor as well. Awesome. And we've got some original cars. Corgi, Crescent, Crescent, Dinky, Field Marshal Tractor. That's pretty awesome. One of my buddies has just built this off me already because he's seen a picture of it. So he's going to have that. Dinky trailer, Avalon roller. Another Chitty Chitty Bam Bam because the one I put up in the other video has sold. Again, fully working wings. Lovely example from 1966, 1967. That sort of era. Then we've got a Triang Spider. That's lovely. Clockwork, fully working. That's yellow. Battery operated. Um, Corvette Stingray, 1968. Look at that. How cool is that? I think but the box lets down a little bit. I think the model is so much nicer than what's presented at, to at the box. Just look at that. Gorgeous. Of course, then we've got the Impala Highway Patrol. Great artwork on there. Just look at that. How cool is that? Such good condition as well. Mid 60s, made in Japan. Lovely. And then we walk you through. That's how sniffing. I do apologize. Hay fever has been terrible this weekend when it's been warm. Wells, London. Now, this, this is absolutely stunning. I'm guessing it's going to be what, late 40s, early 50s, maybe. I haven't researched it, but I've had it for a number of years. And it's also complete. The track is fully complete. It's got the little picture cards. Mini and Mickey are complete, including both their noses, which is pretty common. That breaks off. The original key is there in the bag. It's all there. I'll just show you this. How cool is this? Now, I've seen this, just this little tin plate car on its own, in worse condition. I've seen them sell for around 2 to 250 on their own. And that's actually not people asking that's completing. So, what's a set like this worth? All right, and I'm going to put it up for about £400 and see how it does. I think it's worth that all day. That's lovely. I love the artwork as well. Then we got some dealer promotional cars. Thunderbird, nice. And also a 65 Ford. Also very nice. And what's quite cool about this as well, cool, cool even, is a 65 Ford. Look at that. It would have been a different range, the Falcon, the Mustang, etc. But someone's wrote some nut figures under here as well. Which, uh, you know, you're guessing that's math somewhere back in the day with the prices on them. 89,352. Wow. But um, there we go, you got the original sticker on there as well, which is awesome. St. Louis, Illinois, awesome. I did say awesome a lot, but that is awesome. <laughs> then we got a nice bit of template trucking. Cargo King, that's lovely. Some space guns as well. These are pretty cute. I'm going to put these in a job lot together and just sell them together. That's quite cute, little farm truck. Hong Kong plastic. Lovely condition. I thought to myself, that looks a bit odd because I haven't seen it in a number of years. I thought, colours don't really go, do they? But that's how it is. That's how it come with the, the box as well. There, look. This is absolutely beautiful. Western Germany. What's this going to be? 50s? Late 50s? Early 60s? Clockwork. When you let it go, it's not... Oh, it's still a bit of a thing in it. But as you can see, you can quite get it there. It's not wound up. The key is there as well. But the bird flies around. There we go flies it on and then wings go on it as well just look at that how gorgeous is that i i love i think that's incredible here we go we'll put it to the stop motion let's move this it doesn't move then we've got the ray thing mr mercury which is absolutely fully working 
Let me just take you in. Look at his eyes. There's little plastic people in the control room. So he's got a number of features. On the remote, you can actually walk him. He walks forward. You can bend him down. These hands move out. I won't do it, you know, without the batteries in it. Hands move out and the hands move up as well. You can change a lot on him. That's incredible. I think that's got to be between three and 400 pounds easily. Last week's robot that went up, um, which I showed you, that's gone straight away. Um, you know, nice bit of template, not rare items, but they still, they're an easy 100, 125 pound each, these are. That's what they normally tend to go for. That's something sweet. And this fire engine is absolutely stunning. Again, fully working, it's been tested. It's got two different features on there. One, just to spin the wheels and let it go. And then the other feature is to pump water out of it. There's a little water tank, but it's, it's pristine. Let me just show you how clean all of the things that are like this in here as well. But look how clean the battery terminals are. Stunning. You know, when I started buying this stuff many years back and putting it aside, I'd only put aside the best stuff of it I could find or the rarest stuff I could find. That's why all this stuff is in such incredible condition. So all this is my rainy day stuff. All this was my retirement pension fund, but it's all coming for sale now. Previous videos go back if you haven't seen. Um, and coming up in next weeks, months, I reckon the rest of this year is gonna be this volume of quantity stuff every week, if not more, continuing to go on there. So all of this is for sale. Just Google Jones Vintage World, check the link down below, the store is there. Have a little look. I'm not asking you to buy anything, but have a browse through. Appreciate it like I do, because for me, it's a passion. I don't even care about the money making side of things. I know it's a business, but I have to make money. But I just love playing with toys every single day. It is literally like living the dream. The artwork on this. So until next time, stay tuned. Daily videos coming up and weekly uploads of all the toy stuff. And yeah, take it easy. Peace and love as always. Jones Vintage World, boss out.